it was Draymond Green before the Warriors game. Uh, yeah, they were chirping before the game, during the game. It was everything you could want. Afterwards, Brooks said, I know I'm a better player than him. I ain't out there getting into physical altercations with my teammates. Burn, 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 burn. Uh, here's Draymond, what he had to say about the Warriors-Grizzlies rivalry. Why don't you consider this a rivalry? Because you have to, like, one team has to win, and then another team has to win. Then, like, that's what creates a rivalry. Not because one team um, gets up for you and talk like they can beat you and then not. That doesn't create a rivalry. Rivalries are created by you win, I win. And clearly, we won four times, and I think their organization has zero championships. So I can't consider that a rivalry. Rivalry is a funny word after you say it 37 times in a row. Chandler, look, maybe it's not a rivalry by that definition, but it's certainly getting our attention. Can we call that a rivalry? I mean, when you look across the NBA, this is probably the biggest rivalry when you talk about the trash talking, the physicality. But Draymond, he has a point. Like, this is not a, a rivalry. For the last decade, the Warriors have been the superior team. There hasn't really been a back and forth. It's not like the Grizzlies have got them in a series or won a championship. It's this is If it's a rivalry, sure, but the Warriors have dominated this rivalry. So I understand what he's saying. Dylan Brooks saying he's a better player than, than Draymond Green. It, it, it's... I've, I've had there's this discussions all the time right and my like one of my closest friends says Draymond Green is the most overrated player in the NBA if he was drafted by the Pistons you would never hear of him and I don't know if that's necessarily fair did he get drafted to a great situation where he's been able to be with the two best shooters of all time yes but he has perfected that role and that role he plays with this team playing defense kind of bringing the ball up as a push for off an offensive rebound finding these guys he's a very smart player and he's he's not one of these guys that left for a bigger deal went to charlotte and then kind of fell off he has stuck with this team he's stuck with this role and he's become a first ballot hall of famer by being a role player on this team and he's the catalyst on the defensive end he rebounds the ball he does a little bit of everything so dylan brooks is saying i'm a better player he's talking about offensively sure he can shoot he can score better than draymond graham but when you look at the whole aspect and the value of a team it's tough for Dylan Brooks to say he's better than a first ballot Hall of Famer because of the career and the resume Draymond has obviously trumps the, the career that Dylan Brooks has had thus far. So it's interesting. I love it. I think it's great for the game. It's great. I hope to get matched up in the first round of the playoffs. Um, is it a rivalry? Yeah, for sure, because they're going to put this game, this matchup every night on prime time. There's going to be technical fouls. It's going to get chippy. <laughs> so it's a rivalry. And, and maybe this is the year. Maybe this is the the year that they, the Grizzlies do get them in the playoffs and they can beat them in a series. So who knows? But I think it's definitely growing. These teams aren't going anywhere, and it's definitely good and fun for the league. Uh, I, I'm here for all of it. By the way, we had to say goodbye to Shams, which can, I mean, that can't be good, right? Uh, there's there's the tease. We don't know when he's coming back. Uh, but let me ask you this. Fine. If we're not going to do team rivalries, we can do player rivalries because I'm here for pettiness all day, every day. How about this? Brooks or Draymond? Or Doncic Booker. And I know you guys tell me Doncic Booker is not a thing. I think you're both wrong. But, Eddie, talk to me. I'm going to go uh, Bro Brooks and Draymond because yeah. of the podcast. And he can just <laughs> he can just add to it. But uh, I, maybe I don't have the dog in me or whatever. Chandler, explain to me. The dude <laughs> puts his armpit on my nose and I don't move because I'm tough. I don't... I'm, I'm taking a step back. Like, yo, you got it, bro. Take the ball out. I, I'm over it. We're up 20. Ugh. You know what I mean? I, when we both have the ball tied up and you just won't let go because you're just being that guy. Like, I just Maybe I just armpit. don't care enough. But Chandler, Draymond puts his armpit on your nose. You're, oh, you're moving, right? Like you're taking a step back and kind of I mean, going on with your life. Or <laughs> yeah, like, I'm, I'm either stepping back or I'm pushing him or I'm doing something. And the reason... <laughs> The reason I'm taking Draymond and Dylan Brooks is because this is probably going to result in a fight or a physical confrontation, and the media is going to keep doing it. The Luca and Devin Booker are two Ugh. much better players, and it's better basketball, so it's fun to kind of see these guys go at it. But this one here, this one here, Dylan Brooks has now created this identity right here. This is who he That's is. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, this is his value. So I like oh. this one better because I do think this is going to end in something bigger. 
Oh, yeah, I that's just, not I, the last scuffle we're getting between those two. We're going to get no. like the sequel in the playoffs. Us, it's going to be worse. It's going to be grosser. Like, that's, <laughs> it's they're gonna definitely going to one up that. <laughs> I will say the weirdest thing Draymond said is uh, none of his teammates like him, talk, like insinuating that no one liked it would, when he punched his teammate in the right. face. Right. That was, if you're gonna get in a verbal, you know, dispute, you, you can't say that because you literally punch your teammate in the face. So that was no, that was weak. As soon as he said that, he lost it. Because then Dylan's like, I literally have never gotten in a physical altercation with a teammate, and, he's, and, yeah. and he wins. Boom. I'm no fan of like either guy, but I really hate that Dylan Brooks just outright won this round of the battle. He was right <laughs> about the quotes. He was he was right about the game. He was I right about it. the little stare down thing. Like he he won each each round of this, and it, it pains me because I don't want Dylan Brooks winning things. Dylan Brooks, yes you do. He's about to pass Rudy Gobert for me. It's about to get worse. <gasps> I can feel it. Wow. Eduardo, <laughs> say it ain't so. We love Dylan Brooks here at Run It Back. He gives us life. Okay, fine. Well, we'll take a break. You and I will talk off the air. Uh, Marcus Smart, Trey Young with a dust up, and Fred Van Vliet with a love letter to his favorite ref. <laughs>